This video is a guide for teachers using Nanogong in Moodle 2. So this is the Moodle website that we have. You can see we have one course called Language Course Listening and Speaking. Let's log in. We're going to log in as a teacher. Um, most of the things we show in this video also apply to an administrator account, but we're going to use a teacher account. So we log in and we go into the course and then turn editing on because we want to add the Nanogong activity. So we go to the activity list and you can see Nanogong voice activity is shown there and we select that. This page is then shown and these are some bits of information which everyone will be able to see later. So the name of this activity, well let's just say practice speaking and then in the big box below let's put more information in. For example, record yourself using this Nanogong activity, something like that. And let's add an example as well. So let's uh, put an example for students to follow. Here is an example and we'll record our own voice right here in the editor. For that we use the yellow icon shown there. Up comes this window and let's press record. This is an example recording for you. Play it back. This is an example recording for you. And let's insert that into the editor. OK, it gets sent to the server and a little icon is shown there. If you want to check it in this editor, you do a right click and then select show nanogong voice and you can play it back. This is an example. OK, it works fine. Let's do OK and let's post the things that we've made uh, a little bit later. Let's first look at the parameters we can choose. So for this Nanogong activity, we could display the description, which we just typed in on the course web page. And that makes a lot of sense. So let's tick in the box shown so that the description is shown to everybody. We could set some dates if we want to, but we're not going to show that in this video. We could set a maximum grade if you want to grade the student's recording. Then you could give it a grade, anything up to 100, whatever you like, or even zero if you're not going to grade it. Uh, you could set the maximum recording that students are allowed to do up to 1,200 seconds. The default is 300 seconds. That's about five minutes, and that's usually good enough. How many recordings would you like the students to do? If the number is zero here, then they can do unlimited recordings, as many as they like. Alternatively, you could set a maximum limit, maybe 20 or 30 if you want to. Here we're going to set unlimited. Are you going to allow students to submit late recordings? If you are, then say yes. Another parameter, can students access the recordings of other students? If you want that to happen, then select yes here. We're going to say no. So set up the parameters according to what you want and then save and return to the course. All right. At the top, you can see the Nanogong icon and you can see the, the text practice speaking. And then under that, the text message that you just typed in. Record yourself using this Nanogong activity. Here's an example. Let's check the example. We can left click on this audio icon and press play to hear it. This is an example recording for you. No problem. And we can actually go into the activity by clicking on the title. OK, so it shows information. If students have actually recorded themselves, then this is shown at the bottom of the page. Uh, right now, we just made it. So as you can see, there's a message. There are no students who have submitted recordings, which makes sense because we just recorded it. We just made the activity.